Howdy there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your little RV specialist. Started by our mom and dad in 1976, we are proud to be a second-generation family-owned and operated business. My friends call me Luke and my sisters call me Charlie, but you can call me anytime at 440-OHIO-RVs. A member of our growing team would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. Again, that's truckandrv.com. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see the pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full service dealer offering a warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 440-OHIO-RVs. Again, that's 440-OHIO-RVS. For sale today, we have a 2005 Born Free built for two 4x4 four four with 56,395 miles. This Born Free has over $30,000 in upgrades from U-Join Off-Road, including the 4x4 four four conversion and the front and rear bumpers. Don't miss this opportunity to own this unique RV that's ready to go adventuring. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside of this 2005 Born Free Built for Two. As usual, I'm going to start in the front, work my way towards the rear. I'm going to do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are proud to be a second generation family owned and operated dealership. All of these RVs go through the same inspection process before they hit the web. We'll go through a full demo with you at the time of sale, answer any questions you may have. We've got a very unique Born Free here. This is a four wheel drive Born Free Built for Two. The customization was done by U-Joint Off-Road. There's over $30,000 in customizations added to this, including the 4x4 conversion, the front and rear bumpers. So we got a very unique unit here. Because of that, we have decided to call this one Bubba the Born Free Built for Two. The previous owners loved this unit, intended to use it more. Um, however, they welcomed a child into their family, and they said that it says right on the side of the unit that it's built for two, not built for three. So that's the reason they're letting this one go here. So we'll get started on the tour here. We've got a fantastic fan in the center of the coach. This runs on your coach battery. You can use this like an attic fan at night. Open up the windows, bring the cool outside air in. Got a crank for the TV antenna. We've got our roll bars here inside of these casements in the middle and the rear. Also one up front. Got about 72 and a half inches here at the casement. It's about 76 inches of headroom in the main part of the coach. Got a mix of hard surface flooring and carpet in this unit. Got the Born Free quality, nice solid wood cabinetry. Got the molded fiberglass exterior. Got our manuals there. Got day night shades. Got window with a screen on this portion here. These are remotes to run the bed up and down. So these will go up and down like this. We'll check that out here in a little while and see what that looks like. night shades on this side screen window here got the same thing over here with the control that controls this bed here so i'm going to go ahead and drop some pictures now so you can see what the sleeping setup looks like in here and get some measurements the twin beds measure approximately 75 inches north south or front to back and 33 inches east west or side to side you can use the boards and cushion to make up the big bed that measures approximately 75 inches north south or front to back and 90 inches east west or side to side the twin beds feature a power recline function that can be stopped anywhere within the mechanism's range to get the perfect position for you. Down here below the sofas, we've got storage that you can access from the inside or the outside of the unit. Got a table with a leg here that you can use inside or outside as well. Got the storage with the boards that make up the big bed here in the center, if you'd like to do that. Now towards the center of the coach, we've got counter flip outs here to provide more counter space. We've got an AC plug in behind this one. A two burner propane cooktop. Got a mark here on the counter. Got our levels test here. These are not always accurate, so can't always trust these, especially the holding tanks. The LP gas also is there, and we've got a coach battery monitor. We push and hold this button to check those. We've got our water pump that pumps the water out of the onboard fresh water tank. Got our hood light and fan. We've got an actual convection oven microwave here, so this will actually heat up. Got a nice big drawer. We've got our furnace ducts down here. So these are where the furnace air is going to come out of. This is a return. The furnace thermostat is over here. We've got the air conditioner overhead here. This runs on the shore power plug-in or the generator only. It's controlled via the knobs right here on the front of the unit. Got a paper towel holder. Got some screws here on the wall. Got a dual basin sink. 
Got the start stop for the Onan 4K generator. That has 148 hours. That runs off the fuel tank. That will run out around a quarter tank, so you cannot strand yourself. We've got AC plug in here. Got our water heater on off that ignites itself. Got a bathroom light switch to light the bathroom light up that's in here. You can also run the water heater off of electricity using this switch here. Got our fuse panel here that has our AC breakers and our DC fuses. Got our water pump there. That's our fresh water tank. More of a service access here. We got a two-way separate fridge freezer. So this is a two-way, meaning it runs on AC power. So your shore power plug-in or your generator or propane gas. Gonna leave that in automatic mode and it's gonna do what it needs to do to stay cool as long as you have the appropriate fuel. Got a switch for one of the outside lights and the power step to stop that from going in and out. Apartment down here to the water heater that has leaked at some point here and caused some discoloration on the cabinet. We've got our fire extinguisher. We've got a screen door on this one. We've got a flashlight up there. Here's down beneath the refrigerator. A little rack there by the entry. Got a mirror. Stepping now into the bathroom. Not much of a step up in it at all. Everything's gonna drain down into the floor. That's your shower curtain you can pull around you here. Soap dispenser, towel bar. Got some lights, an exhaust fan. This does open. Got some marring here from water in the bottom cabinet. Forgot to mention our coach battery disconnect here on the passenger side down by the floor. This disconnects the coach battery to prevent parasitic draw. It also disconnects the charging systems to the coach batteries, which are the shore power plug-in, the generator, or the alternator while you are standing in the rear of the coach. I was recently hospitalized due to a peekaboo accident. They put me in the peekaboo ICU. These cushions are removable, so you can move this stuff around here. Use this how you like. Got our four-wheel drive shifter here on the floor. Got Bose speakers. Those are run to this head unit here. This also runs the DVD player for the TV and everything there, so you'll get the sound coming out of the speakers. Got a nice big cabinet here with AC power. This goes all the way around back. Got a regulated power supply there. Got controls for the satellite, I believe that's obsolete these days. Got a smart TV here. So all in all, we've got a really unique unit here. This is not something we have every day, being a four wheel drive, over $30,000 in upgrades here on this unit from U-Joint Off-Road. Bubba the Born Free Built for Two here is a really nice unit, ready for adventure, snow skiing, heading to the mountains, heading west, off in the desert, wherever you're looking to go. This thing will take you there. You got lots of ground clearance. It's ready for adventure. I'm gonna call this one an eight and a half out of 10. Got a few blemishes here and there. Got the water stained by the back door. Not much you can complain about though. This one is ready to hit the road. Again, eight and a half out of 10. Check it out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV brothers. Up here in the cabin area, we got power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt, cruise, CD player with USB, auxiliary, and Bluetooth. Got a switch for the backup camera here. The monitor's right there. Got the lever here to throw this into four-wheel drive. Makes it quite a unicorn unit here. Got a nice clean upholstery. Nice clean carpet. Some cup holders, glove box. A couple small boo-boos here. Not noticing any signs of smoking in the form of stains, burns, smells, things like that. Cigarette lighters unused. So while it's tough to say for certain, I'm gonna call this a non-smoker. Also got this privacy curtain here you can pull across in the front while you're parked. Alrighty folks, we're gonna go around the outside of this 2005 Born Free Built for Two 4x4. Bubba the Born Free Built for Two measures 22 and a half feet bumper to bumper with a 10 foot power awning. The tires have 3119 date codes. This Born Free is built on a Ford E350 chassis with a 6.8 liter V10 engine with 56,395 miles. 
We've got over $30,000 in upgrades on this unit. Got a custom front bumper here with a worn winch. Nice looking exterior. Got good shine. Stripes are in pretty good condition. We've got the molded fiberglass exterior body that Born Free is known for. So good quality exterior. Got our propane tank. It's mounted to the unit, so you have to drive that wherever you want to get that filled. Got our furnace exhaust, dual rear wheels. Got two 110 outlets. Got the control for the power awning. Storage bay here. Got our water heater, power cord, water hose. It's accessible from the inside of the unit through that door. Got a custom rear bumper as well. Got a ladder for rooftop access. Got this mount here for the tire. Got a power step to help you get up and in the unit. Got a tow package. Back of our water heater. This is to clip the door open. Got a sewer hose storage. Got our sewer drains here. Got our black and our gray. So you pull the black first, then the gray. Got a flush for the sewer. Got the shower power coming in here. Got the fuel fill for the engine and the generator. Generator stops running around a quarter tank. Tiny little nick on the stripes there. Small nick there as well. Pretty good shape for a 2005 for sure. Got our TV and phone in here. A little light, got an outside shower. It's nice for kids, pets, going to the beach, going off-roading, whatever you're doing in this four by four unit. This is nice to help keep messes out of the camper. We've got our city water in. We've got the fill for the onboard fresh water tank. We've got fills here for the rear airbag suspension. You can inflate, deflate, check the pressure here. These are the boards and the cushion to make up the big bed if you'd like to inside. You can open this door here to access this from the inside of the coach. Got our coach batteries. There's two coach batteries there. Got our Generac 4K generator. There's a fresh service, fresh oil change. A little bit of age on the Born Free up top. Kind of hard to see, it's pretty high up there. But all in all, Bubba the Born Free here is a very unique Born Free built for two. This one's great for off-road adventures, snow skiing, whatever you're looking to do heading west. This is a great unit. Check this one out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV Brothers.